Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, the town continues to have vacancies on various town boards, committees, and commissions. We would ask those interested to please check the website uh, for the list of vacancies and contact the selectman's office for consideration to be appointed. I'm sorry to report that uh, we have received the resignation of Ellen Goffel, uh, who was resigned from the Conservation Commission after many years of service, so that she may devote her limited time to, the, to her new position on the New England Fisheries Management Council. Reviews of the projected 2015 town budget have started. I expect the town manager's reviews to be completed by August 19th and the selectmen to receive the Budget from the Finance Department on August 22nd. I believe I will be finished with the initial reviews this week. Uh, I've been investigating the insurance requirements for the licensing of taxis, and I'm finding that the average insurance requirements are $500,000 a cap. In many cases around the country, those are set by the state through their public utilities commissions as opposed to being set by the individual communities as they are in New Hampshire. I'll be on vacation for part of the month of September and would request that the Chief of Police be appointed as the Acting Town Manager from September 16th to se September 29th. Sir, I have two other items. One is, um, as you know, we have a special run through town which takes about two hours by two people. Uh, a special event, the group Esprit de Corps from Montreal to run to Boston and they have asked to waive the $5 fee for the permit, considering they're only running two people. A motion, please. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? <laughs> Unanimous. Thank you. The other thing I have, Mr. Chairman, is uh, as part of the uh, um, items to be signed for the consent agenda, I have a request for a release of a welfare lien from the legal department. Okay. So that's it, sir. Thank you, sir. Questions for the town manager? Select my um, Fred, will the chief of police, when he is acting in your stead, have a have a decibel meeting with him? Uh, it's entirely possible. You just never know. <laughs> and on uh, the um, resignation of uh, Ellen Gaithel from the Conservation Commission, uh, she and her husband David both have been so proactive yes. that she goes back to to Vivian Marcot, who was also an outstanding member of the Conservation Commission. And uh, she has uh, certainly had an extraordinary career uh, in advocating for the conservation effort. And I, I congratulate her, and I think this board uh, shares in my, in my feeling. Uh, she's uh, given so much of herself to this community. And uh, I think we really uh, should expect. Actually, if we could maybe get a letter together for Sorry, Ellen. Sorry, take care of it. Oh, excellent. See? See, you're way ahead of us. Other than that, thank you. Have a good vacation and don't get into trouble. Try not to. No trees coming down. No. Sir. No. Thank you. Yeah, just on, on the Ellen Gaithel, I mean, here's a lady who's not only just her, but her family have done so much for the for the conservation effort in this town. If, if you ever get a chance, she has a little, small little business down the beach yeah. that talks all about the sea. Your, your grandkids would love it. I took my 23-month-old down there and it was very interesting uh, uh, get down and see it but I know she's worked very hard with the fisheries and I know they got a lot of work coming up over the next few years so yeah. uh, congratulate her on that board I know she's gonna do an excellent job and was we're, we're sad to see her leave this this board thank you also okay wonderful thank you mr. mr. chairman yes, just one other thing <coughs> Just realize that uh, the Lottery Commission is going to be in town on Thursday the 31st from 11 to 2 at Morelli's Market. Uh, they're going to uh, hold a lottery event there. So uh, I don't believe that means they're giving out money, but uh, they, they're certainly invited to go. Um, may I intersperse a comment? If you must. If someone, ma'am. If someone can tell me the last time this town got proceeds from the New Hampshire Lottery, I would like to hear about it. Thank you, ma'am. They Roman. used to contribute <laughs> Mr. Bridal to the school yes, budget, but I believe that is past history, and I'm not in a mood to encourage anybody to buy lottery tickets as long as the town of Hampton is left out of the equation. Thank so you, there. <laughs>